And for more reactions, let's turn to our correspondent uh, Shane Harm in Seoul right now. Hello there, Shane. Well, the Park in Hay addressed uh, on television that she would resign if the lawmakers want her to. Then why do some see Park's address uh, yesterday as a move to try and avoid impeachment? Right. Opposition lawmakers are saying this is a stall tactic by the president. But first off, it really puts to rest any notion or possibility that the president's going to resign voluntarily. And it puts the onus and the burden on the National Assembly to try and come up with a solution to try and get the president or to have the president resign or step down. Now, uh, under the law or according to the law, as the president had mentioned, there are really no precedent. Uh, no South Korean president has failed to uh, serve the, her, her, his or her full five-year term, but really, according to the law, would have to mean in terms of shortening her presidential term, which would mean a constitutional amendment, which could take months. And also, uh, that's why opposition and lawmakers are saying that this is a delay tactic, because a constitutional amendment would take months, but also impeachment measures. It throws, that throws a lot of confusion into the mix as well, because uh, some of uh, the members within President Park's own party were willing to uh, vote across the aisle in a bipartisan support, bipartisan support in favor of impeachment. But now discussions uh, need to be held with the latest comments by the president. Well, as we uh, we, we saw just now that uh, some uh, uh, people in uh, in in South Korea felt very surprised about this address. Then, how do you think Park's address yesterday will affect the ongoing protests in which uh, the opposition leader is also joining? Well, it will probably have very little effect. Uh, organizers say that this weekend's mass protest will go on as scheduled, and that's simply because uh, protesters, their demand was uh, clean and simple. They want the president to resign immediately because of the, the state uh, that the state affairs is in right now is at a point of no return. If you look at what the president has done over the past month, ever since this scandal broke, we have seen her very rarely in public. The last time she was in public outside the presidential compounds was a visit to the National Assembly when at that time she said she was willing to, uh, to uh, take away some of her powers in place for an interim prime minister that was selected by the National Assembly. She hasn't uh, resided or hosted any of her cabinet meetings for the past month as well. And it puts into question uh, how she's going to handle her policy initiatives moving forward, whether it be for uh, security or for the economy. So really, uh, already state affairs is at a standstill. So it's pretty hard to imagine that the, the public would accept her latest comments. Yeah, thank you very much, Shingham, reporting from Seoul.